Let's, though, begin with the first trading day of 2023. And the markets, of course, coming off what has been the worst yearly performance they've seen since 2008. The Nasdaq was down 33 percent in 2022. Of course, we all know it was a very tough year for technology-related names, high growth names, and so many others. The S&P 500 also posted a double-digit decline. It slid by more than 19.4 percent. The Dow was the best of the three, down almost only 8.8 uh, percent. And Jim, I think also important to mention the bond market had a horrible year. Jeez. And so, so many people who are not just invested in equities, but had that 60-40 split, saw their portfolios get crushed last year because of that historic route in the bond market. Right. You now, we've had $2 trillion in, uh, in savings in 2021. It's down about a trillion. Uh, many people who thought they could retire on their savings, uh, or at least bridge it to Social Security, and therefore decide to leave the workforce, I think are now stymied. Uh, I think are the wor a worrisome part of, uh, of the, the fabric of the country. I believe that when you look at how fast rates went up, you, you, know, you saw a tremendous, uh, this is a Fed tightening cycle to end all tightening cycles. I mean, this is just incredible. And yet it may not be enough because of uh, wage wage growth, which we know Friday is going to be important. So, I mean, we got, we got this picture where they, they haven't won yet. No. Uh, just because the calendar changes, does it mean anything else really changes? Well, or are yeah. you and I going to have a similar conversation to what we had before vacation? Well, I think there's two twofold. One is that there are people, uh, very good analysts, who are saying it's time to get back into what got destroyed in the NASDAQ. So you see a Square recommendation, a PayPal recommendation. And then there are the other people just say, it's never going back. Stop it. We're now back into a world of, of price journeys multiple. It's got to be reasonable. got to be around 16 to 18, uh, high 20. Uh, if it's uh, higher than that, then you've got to look askance. So I'm in the latter camp. Uh, the former camp, it just doesn't turn me on to go back to the NASDAQ names that were a great uh, software. You, you had these incredible enterprise software companies. Uh, you had companies that were... Uh, once beautiful technology companies that really excited people. And here I'm talking about Megacat. Of course. David, the, you turn the calendar on Megacat, it doesn't matter.